Hello everybody, this is Quidapple with my free-to-play Gaelic account, and I just wanted to show you right at the end uh, how this Herndig event turned out. And you can see I'm pretty close on all these. I got my 550s. I got to get four more levels on that gentleman, and I'm done there. And then over here, I've got, I did pull out enough to pull uh, one extra champion, and I'm going to pull Hephoris, and the only reason I'm going to pull Hephoris is because it's a revived champion for a very difficult uh, faction wars. So this should really help this account with faction wars and the skinwalkers, I believe is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and fuse that. 300,000, whoop whoop. There you go, Hathoris, and in the Skinwalkers, and you can see he's not that good of a character any place but Faction Wars, but he does have a nice little ability that revives two random allies with 50% hit points, and fills their turn meters by 50% after the revival, places a 25% strength and buff on all allies for two turns. So you can see, that's a good champion I chose out there to do it. I'm going to work a little bit harder, uh, just hold on a sec, and I'm going to go ahead and... Um, get enough to fuse this one so you can see what that looks like too. Alrighty, it took a few minutes. I'm back. And let's see here. Come over here for the big fusion. And we got that gentleman, that gentleman, that gentleman, and that gentleman. So remember, if you do intend on fusing one of these other two, you have to do it before fuse the big guy because once you fuse the big guy it's over so here we go nice but he's got a few reviews campaign faction wars arena offense and everybody likes him and he is way up there in the numbers oh, it makes him so cool uh, grants an extra turn, decreases the cooldown of the stasis strike if this attack kills an enemy, decreases attacks all enemies, decreased defense, decreases accuracy, turn meter will also attack all enemies if the first attack is critical. This AoE attack has a 75% chance of placing a 25% weekend debuff for two turns, will also place an HP burn for two turns for the after the attack on those enemies whose turn meters are below 30%. Hmm, interesting. And fills this champion's turn meter by 10% every time they are hit occurs once per turn. Also fills this champion's turn meter by 20% whenever an ally dies. Huh. And arena battles by 35%. That's a good number. Arena battles by 30%. That's pretty good. The other thing I wanted to point out was if you do these fusions, so let me see something. Yeah, if you do these fusions, and then there's an event that comes up, you know, within the last two or three days, the champion training event, you can always rock these uh, and save your stuff. So here I'm in second in place to get a nice purple shard. And of course, if I run it all the way up to the top, 60, 50, I can get. Uh, potentially one over here and one or two more so potentially you can get three in your local uh, 100 person tournament and I'm in second place I'm also in second place on my main account because I saved all my upgrades for all the accounts and I thought it was nice this time they actually allowed for ascension rank and levels I thought that was really good they allowed for the ascension to equal points because sometimes they don't do that and you know, it, you know everything counts this time I thought that was cool well I hope you enjoyed this short little video and I did get Herndig on this account plus I did get um, lots of legendaries for the first fragment pull but I did get Hathori's the Tusk so alright well enjoy yourself and I'll see you in the next video have a good one